Hello, everyone. My name is Tuff. Welcome to my face. <laughs> Quickly talk about it because I don't want to dwell, dwell on it. Dwell, dwell on it. I don't want to stay on this too much. My face is here just because I am finding it a lot of work to constantly think about camera placement so that it doesn't show my face. Enough of that. I mean, it's not like I'm trying to hide my face anyways. I mean, I technically am, but here we are. <laughs> this is my face. Let's move on. I hope you guys don't mind. Let's go into the video. So in today's video, I am going to be bringing you guys with me prepping my plants on my 16 day trip. I have made a system so that it's easier for my plant sitter to look after all my plants. I will show that system with you guys. If you guys do go away, um, hopefully it's a lot easier. I did think about this quite a lot, how it could be easier and just be very simple for the person that's going to be doing this. And also the person who's gonna be doing this is our editor, James. We love him, seriously. He, he, he does a lot for this channel and for me as a friend. I have a hundred plus plants, so it's gonna be quite a lot. I'm not quite sure if it's gonna be a long video or not. We, we keep going, yeah, we, we keep going. Also, this frog is so overexposed, no. <sighs> no! Yeah, oh my god, wait, okay, yes. I'll just show you guys a little bit of example of what I mean when it comes to my system. Let's start with one. So I have three categories in my system and that is what substrate I am actually using. So plant sitter knows. Let's start with this tape thingy. So I am using crafter's tape just because it's easy to take off later when I do arrive because I won't need this anymore. And it's also easy to write on because it's not a shiny material. Yeah, just a tip. They basically, this, this is it. This is my whole shenanigans. So as you can see, there's like a letter there and there's two boxes right here and like a line here. P um, st stands for pond because that's the substrate that, it, that my plant is on. So yeah, pond. And these two boxes actually stands for the amount of times James is actually going to be coming over watering the plant. Because you see two boxes here, that means that, yeah, obviously it's going to be coming over twice in the duration of the time that I'm going to be gone. The first time he's gonna come visit, yeah, he needs to take this so I can keep track when I'm back. And this line is also where the water reservoir should stop because as you can probably see right here, that is where the leka stops and the pond actually starts. So this is just an indicator, just in case he doesn't know what a leka layer is and water reservoir is, I can just tell him like, hey, stop when the water reaches here, nothing past, nothing less. That is just to make it very easy for him. He has a visual indicator on everything possible. And yeah, you know, you don't, you get me, you get me. I'll just show you guys a little bit of example of what I do with the rest of the substrate categories in this whole area. This right here is a good example of soil. So this man theorem for Getty Eye. By the way, I didn't tell you, but the previous plant that we just saw just now is my Anthurium Magnificum Luxuriance. Yeah, this man for Getty Eye, she's not doing well, but just it's fine. As you guys can see here, it just says S that stands for soil. It won't need a reservoir even though there's water right there, <laughs> down right there right now because I just watered it. The two boxes are still there for the ticking system thingy every time he waters. No need for reservoir because I don't have a reservoir on this guy. Also one tip, do make sure that if you guys are going to do this labels, make sure that it's visible for, for the water so that they don't get confused. That's my soil. I'll show you guys now my soil with like a layer. This plant right here. This is my King of Spades X Papillae Lemon X1. It's so pretty. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it because oh my god, there's a lot to talk about. This is my soil and lecker. There's an S and an L insignia. Insignia sign. The two boxes right here. Right here. If you guys can see that line over there, that's where the lecker stops. Very simple. Basically, just like pond, but with lecker. I'm going to be doing that with the rest of my plants, and I'm going to be watering my plants the day after I leave. So, Ooh, what was that? So that's my whole thing right here, right here. I might show a little bit of B-roll of me adding everything to everything just so you guys can get the shtick. I know this is a short video, but I just wanted to show you guys my system, plant prep before I leave. So yeah, also phase, we're gonna be seeing this a lot more in my next couple of videos. I might miss a week of upload just because I don't think it's going to be easy <laughs> to record in the Philippines plus transfer all the files. I know that our Wi-Fi during the time will be a bit bad, though James might have something in his mind that he wants to do for our channel. Channel. Keep a close eye on everything and I hope you guys have a good time. I will have a lot of fun in my trip. I will see if I can get like a vlog or anything while I am there. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you guys liked my little video that I made and my, oh my little cute plant. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
have a good day everyone i will have a good trip i've already said goodbye it's like 50 times but yes goodbye final ciao I'm done now. I just finished everything. I'll put in some b-roll of what everything looks like after I have done the tape thingy. I'll just have some b-roll and I'll see you in the next video. Yo.